Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of your cabin crew, we'd like to inform you that we have officially entered Florida airspace. Now that we're making our final descent, please watch this short message from Governor Ron DeSantis on COVID-19. Thereafter, everyone on board will be required to comply with the state's forever purge. We are not doing any vaccine passports in the state of Florida. We trust people to make their own decisions in this state. We are not going to be bludgeoning people with restrictions and mandates and lockdowns or any of that stuff. As Governor DeSantis stated, while you're within state lines, you do not have to wear a mask. You do not have to get a vaccine. It is against the law for private businesses or schools to mandate masks or vaccines. And you have the absolute right to infect whoever you want, whenever and wherever, with COVID-19. Thank you for traveling with us, and please, enjoy your forever purge. COVID-19 is surging again. This is the time to double down. The governor is doubling down. He says students shouldn't be forced to wear masks. If you are trying to lock people down, I'm going to stand in your way. Florida just requested 300 new ventilators. Hospitals are filling up here. There is evidence that children are making up much higher cases that are emerging. The numbers continue to rise across Florida. This fall, don't breathe. This is insane. The Forever Purge. Coming to a theater and live streaming networks near you. Yeah, I'm never a fan, honestly, of those really dystopian ads. Um, <laughs> you know, and I, I honestly think the, the right, the political right, they were the people who really started that kind of trend and then the left kind of took on because I think they, they can be effective. Like, Mm -hmm. in motivating your base to be like whoa this is crazy this person's crazy they're gonna do something crazy they're gonna you know right. make my life you know uh a living hell um i'm never a fan of that i think just just go out and just tell people the facts um and I, i'm not i know fear is a big motivator and like i said i think the political right have been the people who are fear-mongered for generations, you know, going back to the Willie Horton ads and, you know, it's like, oh, immigrants are coming to kill you or black people are coming to kill you or all these kinds of things. I think like that's been like something that the political right has mastered. And now the left is taking their um, their like lead and started leaning in on fear as a tactic to motivate people. Well, I'm not that. a big fan of it. It is it is effective. Fear is a lot more effective than a lot of other emotions. To, remember to the motivate. ad a couple, remember the ad, it was like, it was going about a, a decade ago now, I feel like. Mm -hmm. The uh, the political ad of like, Paul Ryan dumping grandma off a cliff. Remember that one? <laughs> it was like, on a, <laughs> with a wheelchair, like running up to the edge of the cliff and then just like literally dumping this whole like, and there's like a doll just like falls from the sky. <laughs> like, but that's was, funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's different. That's not like fear. That's like, <laughs> unless but, you're that couple on the plane, that's yeah. not fear. That's no, actually like, funny. oh, they're going to dump me off a cliff. <laughs> um, no, you know what's great about this ad? This ad is a straight up Rorschach test. This is like, it, like, it depends on like what you think of Ron DeSantis and his policies and the way you're going to come down watching an ad like that. So, so like the ad, I watched that ad and I see like Ron DeSantis promising that he's going to leave masking decisions up to parents. And it's like, dun, dun. And you're like, wow, that's what a what a shocking thing. Yeah. It's like basically a, it's like a pro Florida tourism ad by the end of it, it depending on how you view Ron DeSantis and uh, and again empowering people to make their own decisions about masks and vaccines. 